Hello and welcome to another new video of SAP ABAP Enhancement and Modification. In this video, we will ex we will include the screen exit of part two practical. In part one of screen exit, we have explored how to find the screen exit and what is the meaning of screen exit. We find that screen exit meaning the addition of new fields into the SAP standard screens is called screen exit and we have found we can find um, the screen exit of any standard transition which have the ability of uh, uh, modification enhancement by SAP uh, we have found the three methods uh, one by SC transition SC84 and the second um, by finding the Mm, finding it into the SMOD transaction and the third one is by itself by going to the enhancing modification of the package now in this video we will uh, we will find the screen exit and we will make changes into the SAP standard screen mm, screen uh, transition of MP01 and MP02 and we will add a uh, um, checkbox into that st standard screen and then and then find and then check into our screen that the new field has been added or not so let's begin first of all, first of all we will go to the transition SE84 know that SC84 is a transaction of repository information system in SC84 we go to enhancement and then customer exit and then enhancement we already know that the package name of our, our standard transition is, uh, is ME so we entered ME and then execute it we will find all the exit irrespective of type of this package included or supported by SAP you can see that and the above of the list is a screen user subscreen for additional data of AMPL um, exist so double click on the exit name it redirect to the straight toward the exit uh, exit information and how uh, and uh, what is the calling screen here is a calling screen name here is a calling screen number this is a user this is a subscreen area name user 03401 and this is a call screen name so if we we have to double click on the call screen uh, call screen uh, name so it will show the information about call screen because in this way you are trying and you we are trying to uh, to change the SAP standard uh, standard screen by itself that is why it's uh, uh, it's required something some access keys and particular access key but we are not trying to uh, trying to change the SAP standard screen we are just we just modify the SAP standard screen by using the by using its additional part which is already provided uh, in the form of a sub screen area so in the second in the new in the new session C M O D then enter and 
type the project name we have to create a project so we use that cus customer exit 02 all right and then create and then click on the create button it will ask the description of this project so we will give addition of the check box in mp01 and mp02 screens and then go to the enha enhancement assignment button in the enhancement assignment uh, uh, yeah, screen we will have to give the exit name and uh, it's uh, uh, exit name what the exit name will have uh, this it's asking for the save or not yes because it's now in this step we have to click on the local upgrade because we do not want to transport it to another system just click on local object But in, but in the future, if you want to transport it to another system, we will have to give the package. So, for finding the exit name, we will go to the SC84 screen and uh, copy the calling screen name. Uh, sorry we will he will give the exit name here ampl 001 ampl 001 and then press enter okay so the system shows that the SAP enhancement AMPL already belongs to the project ZCUSEX01. Uh, so let's go to other session and uh, we will go to CMOD. CMOD transition again and then we will select this and then delete this project okay and then revert back and then again press enter now it's okay now so in the next step we will click onto the components click on the component button asking for save the data yes save the data first it's very important to save all the things and all the information in every step so now it's showing all the detail which we already export into the transition set4 here you can find that the calling screen name the code screen name and the code screen screen number the calling screen uh, number and uh, sub screen name USER001 as we find here. Here, so we just have to double click on the uh, on the screen number new screen number 1000. Is asking for yes we have to definitely create the new screen okay
now it's creating a screen here we have to give the screen uh, description so a uh, new screen new edition of check box field in mp01 and mp02 screens the most important that uh, most of the developers make a mistake uh, this that the screen type they just leave to screen type normal for the smooth transition and the remove and the um, the uh, and do not face any difficulty we must have to select the screen type as sub screen and then go to the layout we will just go to the layout screen and uh, there we will create a new field uh, of type checkbox and then we will, uh, we will save the screen and we will activate the screen after that we will just go back to the project and then activate the project after that we will find that our new field is uh, showing into the screen so so is a screen new screen we will create in this uh, all canvas we can uh, we can create we can create any type of layout and uh, like here and if you want to add a checkbox we will just create and create it here it is we should make it visible too now we will give the text of the checkbox so all the required info is correct and now it is set to approve okay we have to give the checkbox name now we have given the name here and uh, we just have to save and then activate the screen now the system is activating the new screen uh, which is a sub screen area of uh, our standard screen it will take some one minute I think so hmm. it's showing the message just click on the maintain in original language and here it is now the screen is activated we just have to go back now let's go back to the flow logic just again press the back now you can see the green check button uh, is showing uh, against the screen exit uh, label so it means our screen exit has been uh, activated when we go back again because we have to activate our project what was the our project name 
it was 0 2 so we just click on activate button is showing the some uh, some message that can this project contain inactive include tables so we don't uh, enhance the table and uh, again it is in beneath the bottom of the screen it's showing project customer ex02 activated so it's mean our project our implementation of exit has been completed and it will be definitely show into the our into the standard screen let's go to the transition mp01 01 or 02 just give the implementation number and then press now go to the detail which is our target screen here it is so you can see that the this this is the old screen of a standard screen and this one check the new checkbox we have added by using the exit screen exit so now if we if we deactivate the project customer 02 this is the deactivate project button let's check it out the project has been undone it's showing the bottom of the screen message that the project has been undone now again recheck into the transition you will call again mp02 press enter click on the detail button here it is you can find after deactivating the project the, the our new field our new field of checkbox is not showing onto the screen so anybody can uh, make changes and can deactivate this project so then the final version till the final version the group of person or the anybody can uh, apply the changes as per the business requirement hope you learn uh, a lot from this video for new videos and for new uh, upcoming videos regarding modification and other sap uh, sap topics and do subscribe my channel and do stick to it uh, till then Bye-bye. Take care.